Hi, everybody. So this is attempt at this one number five. For some reason, I keep calling quantitative qualitative. All right. Hopefully, I don't do that again. So we are looking at types of data. And we have two types of data. Qualitative, sometimes it's called categorical. And quantitative, sometimes it's referred to as numerical. So qualitative is, is uh, uh, about some type of quality color of eyes, color of hair, type of shoe, type of soccer ball, type of car, um, color of car. Uh, so it, it, it's some kind of thing you can categorize. Um, <clears throat> now, I have to be careful with that because sometimes we'll make categories with numbers. So you have to uh, understand the difference between the two um, as we go through. Now, talking about quantitative, there are two types of quantitative data. One is discrete and one is continuous. All right, I'm going to give a bunch of adjectives to try and describe discrete as well as continuous, and then I'm going to see if I can give you some examples. Discrete is countable. There are gaps in between um, the, the numbers. The integers, 1 to infinity. Now, notice I said invin infinity. Some people will say that a discrete set has to stop. It doesn't. The integers go from 1 to infinity, and you can think about it as the number of planets. We can't have half a planet. We can't have a quarter of a planet. It's a whole planet. But we, we assume that there are infinitely many planets. So that's a discrete set. You can't have half of a person. They either are a person or not, so it's one person, two person, three person, four person, five person. It's it's not uh, one and a half people. Um, so discrete is countable. You can have an infinite number, but you don't end up getting fractions or decimals typically. Now, it's possible to have a di discrete set where it's 1, 1 1.5, 2, 2.5, 3, 3.5, 4, 4.5, but no other decimals get used. Okay, so it's, it's, it's generally just the 1, the 2, the 3, and the 4 kind of thing. Let me say it this way. If I was a cave person, and I would be looking around and I would see one tiger chasing me, or two tigers chasing me, or three tigers chasing me. I won't see one and a half tigers chasing me, or one and three quarters tigers chasing me, okay? Now, continuous data is uncountable. Um, I use the phrase infinitely dense. Um, <clears throat> hold on. Just noticed that when I wrote the S, it didn't write all the way. So, infinitely dense. Um, another term for it is compact. Uh, the possibility of heights of a person. So just giving you some examples here. Five feet, 10 inches. Well, we might need to refine that. So five feet, 10.5 inches. Well, we might need to refine that. Five feet, 10.517 uh, inches. We might need to refine that. 5 feet 10.51783 inches. And my point is, is that you can get to infinite levels of accuracy. In other words, the number line is dense or compact. Height and weight are generally considered continuous. Um, but again, there is some debate in there, but, and, and you can argue, well, we're only going to talk about uh, height in terms of uh, feet and inches. Well, then you're really kind of in the discrete world because you're not able to refine it more. But normally, height and weight are considered a continuous measurement. Okay, I hope that makes sense. Um, I will talk with you later.